How we learn has significantly changed over the past few months and for many, attending face-to-face -face conferences was a really simple and easy way of engaging with content and information, but that's a lot more difficult right now. Well, in order to help you, we'll be running certain events over the coming months and this will be using a platform that will hopefully help to encourage some of that engagement experience that you would get from a face-to-face -face conference, but through an online mechanism because, let's be honest, it's a bit more challenging to do a face-to-face -face conference right now. The platform we're using is there to try and help you with engage with presenters, but also to engage with each other when you attend the event and also to engage with sponsors who create products and services that may actually still help you in your practice. We're going to be using this for our System on Facebook Users Online Summit, which is actually in a couple of days. So if you want to join that, check out the links below. But the platform we're talking about is something called Hopin. This video shows you how you can get the most out of the platform itself, use it, on board with it, and basically get the information you need to know. As always, we're here to try and help. Make sure you subscribe, ring the bell, and well, let's get straight to the video, shall we? Let's tech enhance your primary care and learning. Shall we begin? Hey, GP learners. So I'm going to show you what the Hopin system looks like. And this is basically the platform that we'll be using to deliver all of our future conferences, including our System One Facebook user group online summit, which you can register for down below in the links if you want to. This is in a couple of days. When you land into the system, you'll be met with this kind of reception area, as you can see on the screen right now. And this is basically your landing point. And it's got all the information that you'd expect to see when you join a conference. So it's got the name, the details, all that kind of thing. It's also got all the sponsors that you can see. So we have eight sponsors in total for the event uh, from Arden's, Iotro, uh, Primary Care Pathways, Redmore Health, Orca, Lantern, Channel 3 Consulting, and FDB Data Bank. So First Data Bank, who provide Optimize RX. In addition, you'll then also see the schedule of events. So basically what the itinerary for the day is. And this takes place in various different places. So majority of the content will be delivered from what we call the stage, which is the main kind of talking point area where you would normally expect to have things like plenaries and that kind of thing, as well as then the sessions which occur in different areas. And we'll go into that in more detail. Additionally, some of the sponsors may have specific events that come at timed intervals that you can engage with through the expo area. So let's talk a little bit more about these different areas. So when you're looking at the screen, you've got various things that you can actually engage with. The main thing to take note of is that here on the left hand side, you've got these five tabs that take you to various different areas. The reception is where you start and that's where you should always go if you've got any questions or comments. And as you can see on the right hand side, we've got a chat section. We will have people there to help and support you throughout the event and you can engage with them uh, through the, either the chat function here or if you've registered for it, a WhatsApp group, which will be running parallel with the event itself. However, as I said, most of the main content, particularly that delivered by TPP, will be on the stage. And that's what this button is here. When you first log on to it, it may come up blank. And that's because the stage may not have started. This will start at the designated times, as you can see on the schedule. With the stage area, it may come up blank when you first click on it. For example, like this. And that's because we haven't actually started streaming yet. However, when we do that, you will see a different kind of image come up. Shall we do that now? So the stage is now live. During the actual event, when that happens, you'll see a live icon come up on the stage. And if you click on that, as you can see, you'll start to introduce the information from the stage area. Now, I'll be quite clear, you are gonna see a bit of a delay. This is because it uses something called RTMP technology, the kind of stuff that's used for YouTube and Facebook live streaming. And as a result, there is about a 10 to 30 second delay from what the presenters are saying and from what you will see on screen. So don't worry about that. Additionally, on this demonstration, I've actually switched off the audio. So even though you can see me talking and stuff, I'm afraid you won't hear me, that's to prevent feedback. But this is effectively what you will see when you're engaging with the main stage and with various other sessions. It is completely possible for us to share screens for you. So for example, I can start with my screen share on here. And as a result, you will then see basically whatever the presenter wants you to see. And this should come through in a second. It's important to remember that when you are looking and engaging with this, that you can change what you actually see. And I will show you what this means in a second. So as you can see, my screen's now got the screen share of my other screen and I'm in the top corner as a presenter. For most of these events, we will have facilitators throughout the stage areas who will be able to also help in terms of taking questions and comments and that kind of stuff throughout the sessions. Occasionally, you may see the opportunity to enlarge the screen. If that's the case, that just helps to make the visuals better for you. 
So that's the stage area. And as I said, majority of the TPP content will be delivered here, including our roadmap session, our FAQ session, which will be answering a lot of the questions that you have submitted earlier to the event, as well as other things like how AirMid works and the top tips section, which I know many of you are keen to see. So that's the stage. Let's have a look at some of the other content that we have, shall we? So I'm gonna leave this. This is the sessions area. So the sessions area is where you'll be able to engage with more workshop type content. And this is the way that we can deliver multiple different topics to you at the same time. So whilst there will be stuff happening on the stage, if that's not relevant or appropriate for you and there is other content that you would rather engage with, this is where you go to find that content. And you'll find three different types of content here in the sessions area. The first will be the sessions delivered also by TPP and an additional one delivered by Ardens, uh, talking about Quaff and PCN working. These are timed sessions, so you won't see them on this particular screen, but when they come up, they will be available and for you to join. And simply just click on the tab to join whichever session is appropriate. As I mentioned earlier, if we go back to the reception area, you're able to see the schedule and the timings that you can join into these particular ones. So for example, we've got a session here about advanced protocol creation at 12 o'clock, which I know is very popular, and you can join in. Each of these sessions can take up to 100 people, so there should be no issues with capacity. When you join the session, you have the option of basically engaging as you want. Now I'm gonna go into the open one to show you what this looks like. This is the second one, the coffee room, and we just created this as a landing place for if you wanted to go have a chat with somebody. There's probably unlikely to be a lot of content in there, but it's just where you can rest and have a chat with people if you want to. But let's go into it, shall we? Now, at the moment, there's not going to be anything available for you to see because there's nobody else in the room. If you want to join on screen, you simply have to share your audio and video just like you would if you're doing a Zoom or MS Teams call and it will use obviously your camera and your microphone from whichever device you are using to engage with the session. So for example, if I was to do this now, as you can see, it's asking me to use my camera and my microphone. I'm just going to change the camera so that we don't have any issues when it happens. And there we go. I should now arrive on screen. And there I am. Some of these rooms have different capacities and that can be up to a maximum of 10. Majority of these rooms will not be recorded. However, some of the sessions, particularly the ones for System 1 and Ardens, will be recorded. So it's important to remember that, and we will let you know on that. You can engage with the session just by typing, just like you would within the stage. So if you don't want to join on screen, you do not need to. But it may help to get your questions answered and that kind of stuff for various sessions. Why is that important? Well, I'm just going to leave this and go back to the sessions bit itself. So as you can see, our sponsors also have moderated sessions in which you can join. This is where you can join our sponsors and ask them questions about their products and services or other kind of topics. And most of our sponsors are providing free content and information about various different aspects. So we have people like Ardens, Primary Care IT, FDB, IHRO, Redmore Health, Orca, and Lantern, all talking about some of the products that may help your practice. And I would really encourage you to engage with these sessions because I think you will find some significant benefit. And we specifically picked these sponsors because they are applicable to a variety of people engaging within primary care. Again, you can simply join these sessions just by logging in and then asking questions either within the chat or you can join them on screen if you want to. That is your choice. The final thing that you will see throughout the sessions is the FAQ section. So this is a section that's gonna be manned by TPP and effectively it is your opportunity to ask the product developers questions about system one. Really is as simple as that. Some of the overflow questions that we've had for the main FAQ section will be answered in this area, but it is your opportunity to ask, I've got this problem, how can I fix it? Please be aware, they will try their best to answer your questions and these sessions will not be running throughout the entire event at various intervals to try and make it sensible for everybody, as well as I'm afraid those presenters are also doing some of the actual sessions in the main area and things. The next section, which unfortunately I can't really demo to you at this point, is the networking section. And the reason why I can't do that is because I need a second login, which I'm afraid isn't available to me right now. But this is the ability for you to engage with other people at the event. 
So simply you click on ready and just like a Zoom call, it asks you to join your camera and your microphone and then it will pair you up with anybody else who's also looking to network at the event. This networking time is from 30 seconds to three minutes, kind of like speed dating. And hopefully it will be the opportunity for you to meet and engage with other S1 FBUG members. One of the key reasons why we like this platform is it allows that level of engagement between delegates as well as with the presenters and the sponsors. Finally, speaking about the sponsors themselves, we have the expo area. So this is where some of the sponsors will have, again, landing pages for you to engage with. There are two types of booths, as we call them. So there will be live engagement booths. And as you can see, these will have the comments of the live next to them. When you click on these, you'll be able to engage with the sponsors directly, similar to the sessions above. Alternately, there will be unmanned booths, which are the ones that don't have live on them. And simply, this is where you can see some of the content for the sponsors themselves and engage with that directly. Which you use is completely up to you. If you just want some simple information to learn about first and then want to go speak to the sponsors, this is a great way of finding that out for you. So this is the System One Facebook User Group Online Summit platform that we will be using for our event. This is also what it looks like through a desktop. This does work very well through a mobile device and you can engage with it similarly. The only main difference is you've got less screen estate to play with and it's important to remember that halfway down you'll see a little line that allows you to move things like the screen and stuff around. So do click on that. It may not be the most intuitive thing at first. Once you figure it out, it works really well. As I mentioned, throughout this event, we will have people supporting you with the technology side of things, both within the Hopin platform. So that'll be our EGP learning name tagged person that will be there to try and help you if you have any questions. Myself and Andy will be available as well if you need any further support. Alternately, you are also welcome to join our WhatsApp group that we've created specifically for delegates to help them support with this system in case you are having significant difficulties engaging with the Hopin platform itself. In terms of engaging with the Hopping platform, the only thing you really need is A, a device that has ideally a camera and a microphone on it, and B, internet connection, and C, battery power. Make sure you've got those three things. There are designated breaks throughout the day, and I would suggest that throughout that time, you use that to engage with the sponsors, but also to grab yourself a cup of tea, some food, and that kind of thing as well. One of the things we have also said is that a lot of the content within this event will be available afterwards to the delegates. There will be a bit of a processing lag time because unfortunately we do have to edit it out because majority of this will be filmed in one big go. And we will contact you to let you know how you can access this information shortly after the conference is over. When the conference is over, you will also be asked to complete feedback form. This is simply so we can know how well the event's gone and what kind of things you would like us to look at moving forward. Additionally, once you've done that, you'll get your certificate of engagement for the event itself and some extra stuff, which we'll talk about in the finale. So EG Learners, I hope you found this video useful. As always, if you've got any comments or questions, feel free to contact us, whichever platform you prefer. If you are watching on the YouTube channel, make sure you subscribe, ring that bell to get all of our content as always. If you haven't signed up to the S1 FBUG online summit, feel free to do so. If you've only got a short period of time, if not, check out some of our other events will be coming up in the future. And as always, EGP Learning is here to help save you and your patients time by tech enhancing your primary care and learning. Catch you in the next episode.